women are coming in the form of hurricanes to teach men a lesson. No more corruption, no more corporate greed, no more cuts in social programs, no more trampling on human rights, no more destruction to the environment, no more war. The power of the matriarchy is going to wipe out the male ego and replace it with a kind of gentle society. Women are coming in the form of hurricanes to teach men a lesson, and the waves are coming down like machetes to cut off every fist of every man who abused them, to cut out every tongue of every man who cursed them, to cut out every throat of every man who murdered them, and to cut out every dick of every man who raped them. Katrina and Rita and Wilma is just the beginning. We're going to be calling the Big Ones Hurricanes in Zinga, Nefertiti, and Makita. We're going to be calling the Big Ones Hurricanes Harriet and Sojourner and Ida B. We're going to be calling the Big Ones Hurricanes Rosa and Coretta and Fannie Lou. Women are coming in the form of hurricanes to teach men a lesson. Never again will women be blamed for falling out of God's favor. Never again will the Bible justify man's absolute reign over the planet. Never again will books written by jealousy and fear oppress and subjugate women. And never again will there be another story about a dumb, trifling, pitiful caveman's rib being made into a woman. There'll be no more priests banging boys, no more pastors banging housewives, and no more sex workers banging, Jimmy Swaggers banging sex workers in motels. The patriarchal clergy will be wiped out and replaced by medicine people as spiritual healers, and the planet will be restored to its natural order. Women are coming in the form of hurricanes to teach men a lesson. No more baby daddy drama, no more chasing child support, no more download scheming, no more private investigators, and no more lie detector tests. They're going to smack these men to the ground as they make them get down on their knees and pray, as they shout to them, who's wearing the belt buckle, who's wearing the pants, who's your daddy now, bitch? Then all men will be the example that some men have already set for them. They'll be accountable for their duties, attentive to their families, and available for their responsibilities. Women are coming in the form of hurricanes to teach men a lesson because they are sick and tired of being sick and tired and men still consider them a joke until it's time the joke will be on them because hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. There'll be no more eating disorders, no more suicides, no more unnatural diseases, no more preventable deaths. Women and men will come to their rightful places in the universe and there will be peace. And when this order is finally restored, women will no longer have to come in the form of hurricanes. They can just be water. Stop, son. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you get my 
from a hard way to go. Yeah. Hey, 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 you see twin? You see twin out there? Huh? Somebody gonna give me my money. Oh, baby, please, baby, baby, please, baby, 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 please, baby. A chain for a chain. Why don't you come over and make my house a home, baby? Huh? Me, please, baby, oh, baby, so. Ah. <laughs> Woo! All right, all right, all right. Like that Kevin Hart boy. I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. <laughs> Go learn today. Go learn today. Hey man, yo. <laughs> man, I can't listen no more. <laughs> hey, uh, you waiting for the number five? Huh? You waiting for a number five? <laughs> damn, your hair long as shit, y'all. <laughs> God damn, man. How long it take you to grow them chicks? 17 years? 17 years? 17 years, god damn. You head long motherfucker, boy. God damn. We got, you gotta be careful when you get in the toilet, don't you? You get shit locked. <laughs> yeah, baby. I know that's right. You put a little scarf around you. You don't need that. You got, you got your hair. I know, man. Look at you. Big Bob Marley looking motherfucker, boy. I know about that Bob Marley. Don't worry about a thing. Cause everything thing gonna be alright. Yeah. Where we that, bruh? Come on now. Big Bob Marley. Jesus look like Yeah, he look like Jesus. No big for Jesus. You a big motherfucker, boy. You a big motherfucker. You big motherfucker. You need to get on that Jesus diet there and that locus and honey or whatnot. <laughs> yeah, boy, get on them nuts and whatnot back in the day day. Yeah. How you doing, my mama?
So I hung out on the street where the junkies did beat, and the street was not found, and there was only one sound of my innocence falling to the snow. One day I did creep to where the murder rate leaked, to the house my mother built with a missing patch in a quilt, and the gun poised for something to stop. She looked at me with those eyes, those eyes I despise. You're a junkie, she said, and you want to eat my bread and your way. I remember my innocence in the snow, <coughs> wondering if it was me or the painful reality of living in the projects of this land. And the woman called Mother, who had blown my deep cover, shouted, What are you going to do? Almost forget who was I. Lunge for the piece in the hand. So, here was a scene I laid out for the state and another family in the project broke down. The house always shivers when it was built by folk babies. Between a rock and a hard place, between a joint and a death space. That is how I came to be. Now, you figure it out. Between the silence and the shouts, was it my mother who survived? Was it me? Think about that, homeboy. Out of here.